How does this happen? A truck driver hauling a tall container smashing into the ceiling of the O'Neill Tunnel, bringing traffic to a screeching halt. That crash left debris, as you could tell, all over I-93. It shut down most of the highway for hours. Now, we know the driver worked for a trucking company out of Canada. As Katie Bray shows us, officials are still trying to figure out what went wrong. A driver directly behind that tractor trailer managed to avoid the wreck and escape injury, but tonight she is still shaken. Traffic zips along in the Tip O'Neill Tunnel until crash. Watch again as a tractor trailer's cargo smashes into the top of the tunnel. A quick thinking driver manages to swerve around the mess. It just happened so fast. I don't know. I guess just, you know, your reaction instinct. I don't know. Justine Gibbs is that driver. My windshield all, from all the dust just went black and I couldn't see anything. She and everyone else came to a standstill. I just stopped the car. I just and pray that there was nobody behind me. A more than two hour backup jammed 93 southbound during morning rush hour. This is the truck involved without its cargo. The tractor trailer cab, the one named Pig Pen, with its damaged trailer sat in a tow lot for the afternoon. Police cited the 59 year old driver from Ontario, Canada for the height and width of his truck. Mass DOT says there are sensors that warn drivers if the vehicle is too tall. That's one of the things that hit my car. Justine took this photo of her windshield, feeling lucky that it was only her car that was damaged. At the time, she was on her way to work. She happened to be running early. Instead, she took the day off. It's like if I left 30 seconds late or a minute later, maybe I would have missed it. The driver is back on the road with his truck minus the cargo. He works for the Canadian trucking company called Snap Trucking. The owner apologized for the inconvenience. In Boston, Katie Brace, WBZ News.